The Yakima County Sheriff's Office investigating a shocking discovery about the treatment of dogs in the lower Yakima Valley. Authorities seeking answers about animal abuse. Also new at six, an amazing rescue captured on drone after a toddler wandered away from her central Washington home this morning. And grab your shades. We really feel like spring now with sunshine and warming temperatures. Jason Valentine will have your first alert forecast. Now, Cap KVU local news at six. Every year, the number one question is, what are you going to do about gun violence? Every year. So many years, I didn't really have an answer. But this year, <laughs> this year I get to go to that class, stand up, and say, because of you, because of you asking me that question, Washington State is leading the way. Washington State is banning assault weapons. You heard it there. As of tonight, Washington has banned assault weapons. Thank you for joining us. I'm Alyssa Warner. This is a dramatic move from the state capitol in Olympia, but it actually won't impact current gun owners as much as you might think. So we don't have a waiting period necessity for signing a good bill, so I'm signing this bill. So. <laughs> Washington Governor Jay Inslee signed three gun control bills into law. One of them has been years in the making. I first proposed the banning of the sale of assault weapons as AG request legislation uh, seven years ago. And uh, it was 2016 after the shooting in Mukotio. I said, I promise I'll propose it every year until it passes. Substitute House Bill 1240 is commonly known as the assault weapons ban. What's an assault weapon? There's a long list of specific guns followed by pages of description listing guns, including pistols that have a detachable magazine and features like a recoil compensator, a silencer, or a shroud to protect your hands from the heat of the barrel. With my signature, we have become the 10th state in the country to adopt an assault weapons ban. We know we have more work to do, but this is a great thing for the state of Washington. Congratulations. This law does not mean you have to give up guns you already own. And if you have a newly banned weapon that you want to get rid of, you can sell it to a licensed dealer or a law enforcement agency. Licensed dealers aren't allowed to place orders anymore, but they can buy guns from individual owners and then sell them to the military, law enforcement agencies, or out-of-state buyers. Governor Inslee also signed two other gun control bills into law. One requires safety training and a 10-day waiting period before you can buy a gun, starting on the first day of 2024. We know that this cooling off period is critical, that people who are in crisis, it really helps stop gun violence in these situations. This bill will save lives. The third new law puts extra requirements on gun makers and sellers to make sure that they aren't advertising guns in a way that could encourage people to misuse them and aren't selling guns in a way that could make it easy for criminals to get their hands on them. It causes the people who are directly involved in the manufacture and sale of firearms to become very interested in in, in enforcing all of the other laws that we have been successful in passing. Now one bill that did make it out of the state legislature in Olympia would have criminalized open drug use. But the government- We expect the Washington State Legislature to produce a bill that will not decriminalize drugs, will provide measures for treatment, and will provide some sanction for those who fail to accept treatment. This is my expectation. It is the expectation of the people of the state of Washington. Currently, Washington operates on a three strikes system, meaning if someone were publicly using drugs, police are required to refer them to substance abuse programs twice before they can make an arrest. Governor Inslee does expect a special session will be held in hopes of passing a new bill before the current law expires on July 1st. Now in Yakima, Tribe Treatment Services is getting $11.75 million in state capital funding to help them expand their inpatient substance use disorder and mental health treatment programs. The money will help them more than double the number of beds they're able to provide in their women's only facility it helps women who might have might try to avoid treatment in co-ed programs. 
Their women's inpatient program also has a wait list of one to three weeks that officials say could prevent people from following through when it comes to getting treatment. Being able to help people walk in the door of a treatment facility the same day that they're saying they need help, this is really important to um, helping people find and stay in recovery. The funding is for the first phase of the expansion, which will get them from 16 to 32 beds. They are still working on funding for the second phase, which would boost them up to 48 beds. New tonight at 6, a toddler who wandered away from home is found safe thanks to the hard work of Kittitas County Sheriff's deputies. You're taking a look at drone video of that child's rescue. The Kittitas County Sheriff's Office says a relative of the Umtanum area called 911 after a three-year-old girl ran off into sagebrush near her home after about 9 o'clock this morning. Deputies and Kittitas Valley Fire launched drones to aid the search. That is where we get this video. They finally located the child using one of those drones. She was about 300 yards from her home down in a ravine, but she is safe and absolutely okay. The video shows what we believe to be the girl's grandma, who authorities say were able to guide to her location. Well, the only thing criminal about our beautiful weather is if you fail to make it outside and enjoy it. Cap KB's Riley Fitzgerald shot this video this morning at Howard Damon Park in Richland. We saw lots of sunshine, a tranquil river, plenty of ducks, geese, and yes, even squirrels out enjoying the conditions. And the mercury is climbing tonight. Jason Valentine has your first alert forecast. Good Tuesday evening, everyone. Hope you've had a wonderful day today and what a wonderful day it has been. We have more mostly clear skies on the way overnight. We'll see a little bit more cloud coverage in your morning and into our afternoon tomorrow, but we're starting to warm up. Highs are going to be in the mid to upper 70s. And folks, we have a very oh, we warm, run in six. or we could say hot weekend on the way. Definitely the hottest temperatures of 2023 so far are on their way and just beautiful conditions are on the way as well. So we've been waiting. We've been seeing those cool temperatures for really since the latter part of March, but we're finally seeing in the latter part of April some nice conditions on the way. So coming up in my full forecast, we have a beautiful day today and we have more on the way. Hot temperatures very soon. We're slowly going to start tomorrow. We were at around average today, but a dry, nice week is ahead. Folks, I can't wait to tell you about how hot it is going to get for your Saturday. So looking forward to that. That's coming up. But for right now, I'm going to send it back to you. Thanks, Jason. New at six, a homicide investigation now underway in Yakima. Police say officers went out to a shots fired call around two o'clock this morning in the West Valley of the West Alley, excuse me, of the 700 block of South 7th Street. There they found a 53 year old man in the driver's seat of a van. They say the man had been shot. He was later declared dead at the hospital. If you have any information about what happened, you can contact Detective Lee with Yakima Police. The number to do that is there on your screen 509-575-6200. At the Yakima County Sheriff's Office and Washington State based animal rescue organization Pasados Safe Haven are investigating multiple cases of horrific animal abuse in the lower Yakima Valley. Cap KB's Emily Goodell tells us they need your help to find whoever is responsible for doing this and we have to warn you this story does contain pictures of those dogs and the horrible things that were done to them. People see this kind of thing they're like oh that's horrible just don't look, just get, keep going and it needs to be handled differently. Multiple dogs found dead in the Sunnyside and Grandview areas in less than two months. The number I think is much higher than what we physically found, but right now we have retrieved uh, four bodies. We have one that was drugged behind a car and that is pretty horrific. Others starved, tied up or otherwise neglected, then dumped in fields, embankments or on the side of the road. Plus, four more reports where the bodies haven't been recovered. We're looking at this as a situation where is it one person? Is it a, a number of people? Is it kind of a communal understanding that this is okay? It's not. First degree animal cruelty is a class C felony in Washington state, punishable by up to a $10,000 fine and up to five years in prison. That doesn't ever happen. I, I've never seen that happen in, in 15 years. People get community service, they get counseling or a fine. Jail time in custody is very rare. But they do get a lifetime ban on animal ownership. If you kill the dog, you can never have anything. You can't have a lizard, you can't have a horse, you can't have anything. If you do, that's a violation of your probationary orders. The ultimate goal? To prevent abusers from getting a hold of animals, something you can help with.
law enforcement is bound, they can only enforce when laws are broken. So sometimes there's no, not yet a case there. But if you can safely and legally document what you're seeing, if that's through written notes, times and dates, photographs, if you can safely and legally do that, that is very helpful to build a case if there is one there. And for this one, there's a thousand dollar reward for information that leads to an arrest and conviction for whoever is abusing and killing these dogs, even if the tip's made anonymously through Crime Stoppers. Whatever way we can resolve this and, and stop this from continuing. In Yakima County, Emily Goodell, Cap View, Local News. Now, if you're struggling to care for a pet for any reason and you need to find it a new home, you can call your local animal shelter. Even if it's full, they can help you get in touch with someone who can help. A new at six tonight, the city of Pasco wants to hear from the public about traffic safety. They'll hold a listening session on that topic coming up next Monday, May 1st. Can you believe it's already almost May? The public will have an opportunity to, dis to discuss traffic conditions and talk about some possible solutions. That listening session starts at 530. Again, that is on Monday, May 1st at the Pasco City Council Chambers. We have a heads up for anybody who uses a sledgehammer. We have the coming up the details on a national recall. And a curious situation at a Northwest Museum, a star attraction, simply a guest. Plus, we will soar over Hiawatha Falls when we fly the Northwest tonight. You're watching Cap KV Local News at six. Let a Mattress Depot USA sleep specialist put you on the mattress that matches your sleeping habits. Stop by today, you'll sleep better tonight. Low prices every day, Mattress Depot USA. When it comes to supplying the farm, come to Northwest Farm Squad. Keep the flock healthy and happy with the largest selection of Purina around. Plus, all the equipment you need to keep the farm running right. And we have the best customer service, we really do. Northwest Farm Supply in Hermiston, Prosser, and Othello. Whether you're looking for your next house plant, getting those spring flowers in the ground, or planting your dream garden landscape, Queensgate Gardens is the place to go. Queensgate Gardens in Richland. Let's grow together. Shelter. Out here, it's the most important thing. But the good thing is, my Ford F-150 provides enough power to keep working. Get a great deal on an F-150 only at your local Ford dealer. Spring Fever Fun has arrived at Wild Horse Resort and Casino. Sizzle your way to over seven grand in cash and free play with 30,000 Spring Fever hot seats every Friday and Saturday. Plus surprise gifts during spring cleaning, swipe and win. Win up to $2,000 cash with our quick cash giveaway and $10,000 bingo April 23rd. With so many ways to win, any day can be yours. Wild Horse Resort and Casino, Pendleton, Oregon. More winners, more often. At the Blue Mountain Station in Dayton, Washington, we invest in community. Our partners include Sweet Cheeks Bake Shop, Cedar Rain Spirits, Onyx Farms, Ray's Roast, Red Band Cellars, Barden Bead Meadery, and the Co-op and Commercial Kitchen. We invite you to explore Dayton today. Your roof protects your home and family every day. Shouldn't it be the best roof possible? With Air Roofing, a family-owned business in Prosser, you'll see why our customer reviews speak for themselves. No job too small, big enough to take care of your roofing needs. Air Roofing, a company built on quality and reputation. Homeowners, Washington is moving to renewable power. Consider an investment in green energy. Rooftop solar with Solar Power Northwest, a true one-stop shop. Solar Power Northwest, a better way to solar. Make your first move with battery power made by steel. Right now, save $50 on the FSA 57 battery trimmer. Real steel. Find yours. That sound. Wolves. Boy, they sound hungry. Load up, wolves. Good thing this Ford Explorer has Sync 3 technology. Keeps them entertained on the way to dinner. Get a great deal on an Explorer. Only at your local Ford dealer. At Mattress Depot USA, we realize your top priority is to get a quality mattress at a great price. And it never hurts to do business with someone local. Low prices every day, Mattress Depot USA. Portion of Cap KV sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. 
New at 6, the Yakima Airport wants to hear from you through a new poll. They're asking for participants to choose a destination that you consider a top priority. The options are Seattle, Las Vegas, Phoenix, Salt Lake City, and L.A. as possible choices. However, poll respondents can also add a destination if you don't see your preference already listed. The poll is open through the month of May, and you can find it at the top of the city's website. This is the second poll that the Yakima Airport has conducted this year. An earlier poll asked about support for airport expansion. The state is planning to construct a new regional airport in the next decade, but the Yakima City Council recently approved a letter to WashDOT asking that they consider expanding the Yakima Airport as consideration of the preferred location. It is well known as the crown jewel of converted rail into trails. The word spectacular, just not strong enough to describe the Hiawatha Trail. That's the focus of tonight's Fly the Northwest. Welcome to the Hiawatha. The Hiawatha is America's most scenic rails to trails conversion. You've got condensed into a 15 mile, mostly downhill path You've got seven sky-high trestles, ten tunnels, nine of the tunnels which you ride through. And the first one which you see here is the Taft Tunnel, which is 1.661 miles long, and it is dark. Some of the tunnels are curved, most of them are straight, some of them are reinforced with cement, and, and others are just naturally left the way they were chipped out of the earth. In St. Louis, we do a lot of bike riding on, on rails to trails, but let me just say, there's nothing like this there. It was terrific, between the tunnels and the trestles, wow. We rode this about 17 years ago, so not long after it opened, um, so we wanted to come back. Well, I think some of the history is what I find really interesting, and the scenic beauty. So when you get up on top of uh, Kelly Creek Trestle, which is the longest trestle, and it's also the highest, the 230 feet up, you're able to look way up the valley and know that there was a, uh, a mill at the far end. They built this railroad back in the day to harvest all the virgin timber that was here. This was known as the most beautiful section of railroad in the country when it was first established back in 1909. Oh, it's just gorgeous. Wow, that trail is 15 miles long, but it's all downhill. If you do have a fear of high places or fear of going into dark tunnels though, you might want to skip this one. You can find more information along with trail passes, shuttle tickets, bike rentals, and more at Lookout Pass Ski Area on the Idaho-Montana border right off Interstate 90. The trail is open every day from 8.30 in the morning until 5 p.m. starting May 26th. Now, Cap KVU First Alert Weather with Jason Valentine. A uh -huh. good Tuesday evening, everyone. And again, folks, hope you had that wonderful day. And what a beautiful day it was. Ample sunshine, a little bit of haze here and there. But those dry conditions are going to be continuing. Hot temperatures very soon. And a dry and nice week is ahead. But, folks, we see these hot temperatures on the way. Then we're going to fall right back down to around our average, like we've seen since late March. But that's all right. We're seeing warm temperatures on the way. As we head into our Wednesday and our Thursday, we have just a little bit of shower activity possible in the upper uh, north part of our areas as we get into Wednesday evening. And a little bit of extra cloud coverage for our Thursday. But folks, we have beautiful conditions on the way. More sunshine than not. And folks, these temperatures are going to be very nice. Look at the ascension as we get into our weekend. I had to change the graph. We haven't been this warm uh, all of this year, so I had to move down our graph uh, to make room for 88. That's for the Tri-City. So for all of our areas, upper 70s, mid to uh, mid 80s for your Saturday. So warm conditions are on the way. Friday, Saturday, we start to slowly cool down into our Sunday and then back to our average. So we're kind of bookending between today and Monday, and we just have those warm temperatures on the way. So wind advisory, we uh, excuse me, wind outlook. We are looking very light as we head into our uh, weekend and then we'll see a little bit of a push on Sunday. But folks, light winds, plenty of sunshine and warm temperatures. This is setting up to be just perfect conditions. And again, like a little bit of that spring that we've all been looking forward to. So as we look at today, we are just a bit above our average for the Yakima region for the uh, overnight lows. We're finally above it. And just remember last 
week at this time. We had a freeze warning in Yakima for the Tri-Cities area right at that average. Uh, again, we have been below average for much of the last month and overnight we're starting to get some momentum as well and that momentum will keep up in our overnight lows as well as we're going to start to see warm temperatures there. So as we head into our overnight period, mostly clear skies going to be in the mid to lower 40s. So starting to warm up overnight, just very, very nice and pretty calm conditions. Again, not too much wind in the morning, so a little brisk, but still very, very nice. As we head into our Wednesday midweek, everyone, we're going to see partly cloudy skies. Highs are going to be in the pretty much the mid to upper 70s, a little bit chillier uh, for Walla Walla and Pendleton, but still a mighty fine day. And again, these warm temperatures are going to continue as we head into Friday, uh, head into the rest of our work week, but especially Friday and for our Saturday. Speaking of which, look at Friday, 85 and ample sunshine, mostly sunny skies for your Saturday, and then we'll cool off. And like I said, in our next work week, we're going to be much much cooler, pretty much on par with what we're seeing today. Lower 70s overnight lows. We get to 60 in our overnight low on Saturday into Sunday. So those warm temperatures folks are very soon to be here. Upper 70s for Yakima. And Yakima is almost on par with the Tri Cities in the temperature department, at least in our daytime highs, lagging a little behind our overnight lows. But folks, look at that weekend. Friday through Sunday, it is going to be warm. 87 for your Saturday. And again, folks, we're still a few days away. It could cool down a bit, but we're definitely going to be seeing 80s for your weekend, and it is going to be very nice. So, folks, get ready for a beautiful Wednesday ahead as we warm up by about 10 degrees and those hot temperatures on par this week. When you get Spectrum One, you get fast, reliable internet for $49.99. <laughs> I mean, I could stop right there, but I won't because... Surprise! You find out you're also getting free advanced Wi-Fi with Security Shield, which makes it an even better deal until... Another surprise! You find out you're also getting a free line of unlimited mobile with 5G. Amazing! Surprise again! You also get Speed Boost, which makes your Spectrum mobile speeds even faster when you're connected to Wi-Fi. Surprise, it's me. <laughs> That's a lot of surprises! I should just popped out of that. Point is, with Spectrum One, you're gonna be very surprised by all the free stuff you get. Or you would be if I hadn't already just told you. But still, when you get in there, could you act surprised? Well, something for the people in the store. Get Spectrum One, internet for just $49.99, plus free advanced Wi-Fi and a free line of unlimited mobile. Visit spectrum.com slash surprise, a Spectrum store, or call 844-7-SURPRISE today. Homeowners, Washington is moving to renewable power. Consider an investment in green energy. Rooftop solar with Solar Power Northwest, a true one-stop shop. Solar Power Northwest, a better way to solar. The last thing you want people thinking about when they're in their golden years is money. We have a new family member living with us, which is my mother-in-law, Kathleen. She has had MS since my husband since six. We have our caregivers that come into the home and help out with her. She gets showers every day. Walk Cares is a really unique program. As you get older, you're still cared for and you're still valuable. It's just great to know that if you need it, Walk Cares will be there for them. At West Richland Family Dental and Prime Dental Pasco, we are open from 7 a.m. until 7 p.m., Monday through Friday, plus Saturdays for when the week gets to be too full. West Richland Family Dental and Prime Dental Pasco, stunning smiles for the whole family. At Vapiano, we invite you to slow down, enjoy the journey. Make a reservation today. Taste wine where it's created. Sample a variety of wines from Sauvignon Blanc, Cabernet Sauvignon, Syrah, and make it a day to remember. Vapiano Estates, Walla Walla. At Honda, we offer complimentary maintenance for two years or 24,000 miles. Just enjoy the ride, knowing we cover routine items like oil changes, tire rotations, and multi-point inspections. Honda Service Pass, available to purchasers of all 2023 Honda vehicles. Get yours today. Great to see you. Come on down. Welcome to Sea Galley. Dinner tonight or the Shipwreck Lounge. May I suggest our surf and turf special, Prime Rib and Crab.
a recall of more than 2 million sledgehammers. The reason? The Consumer Product Safety Commission says the head of the tool can loosen and detach. This impacts sledgehammers made by DeWalt, Stanley Fatmax, and Craftsman Fiberglass. All are made by Stanley, Black & Decker. There have been reports of injuries. These were sold at hardware stores across the country and online. So if you have one, stop using it right away and contact Stanley Black & Decker. A call out tonight for musicians and bands for Apple Jam 5. Submissions opened this week. If you're interested, you can send a demo video to yakimaapplejam.com. The entry deadline is May 30th. All the entries will be made public on June 1st. Then people start voting. The performers who earn the most votes will join the Yakima Apple Jam Battle of the Bands 5 lineup. The two performers who receive the most votes will get an invitation to perform live at Yakima's 4th of July celebration at State Fair Park. There, they can win $500 prizes for Best Performance, Best Solo Performance, and Best Overall Performance. We have a lot more news to bring you in our second half hour. Some recent rule changes may leave prospective home buyers shocked. Are they being penalized for having good credit? That story, new tonight at 6.30. We'll be right back. Portion of Cap KV sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. At Bruce Heating and Air, your comfort is our business. With over 30 years of professional HVAC experience for residential and commercial properties, you can rest assured your heating and air system is in good hands. In addition to providing quality heating, air conditioning, ventilation, and installation services, Bruce Heating and Air also houses a full-service sheet metal fabrication shop. Now through June 30th, receive rebates up to $2,100 off on a new Daikin Fit system when you finance through Bruce Heating and Air. When it comes to supplying the farm, come to Northwest Farm Supply. Your hometown store has a wide selection of everything egg related. Plus, we're the largest Purina dealer in Hermiston. Products you trust from people who care. Northwest Farm Supply in Prosser, Hermiston, and Othello. Your roof protects your home and family every day. Shouldn't it be the best roof possible? With Air Roofing, a family-owned business in Prosser, you'll see why our customer reviews speak for themselves. No job too small, big enough to take care of your roofing needs. Air Roofing, a company built on quality and reputation. At Honda, we offer complimentary maintenance for two years or 24,000 miles with the Honda Service Pass program. Enjoy the ride, knowing we cover routine items like oil changes, tire rotations, and multi-point inspections. Honda Service Pass, available to purchasers of all 2023 Honda vehicles. Get yours today. What is a leader? Someone who has backbone, resilience, determination, to put a stake in the ground and get their hands a little dirty. Arrow Construction Supply has been the Northwest's leading provider of asphalt, concrete, and erosion control industries. From homeowner do-it-yourself to large commercial projects, we have everything for sale or rent to get the job done. Your locally owned and operated Arrow Construction Supply, leading the way and hitting our mark for 30 years. Our phones keep us constantly connected. Please switch to airplane mode. But what if they had a mode to help us actually connect? Introducing what Us Mode, a mode that makes our phones less distracting, so we can focus on quality time. So the notifications we get <laughs> are the ones that matter. So we're never distracted from what's most important. Visit US Cellular in-store or online to set up Us Mode for free, even if you're not a customer. US Cellular, built for us. Hi, I'm David Smith. And I'm Tori Smith, local owners of Mattress Depot USA. We both grew up in the Seattle area. But unlike our large competitors, we still live in this community. We do business with local manufacturers from right here in the Pacific Northwest. Hey, we realize that your top priority is to get a quality mattress at the best possible price. And that's what we do. And it never hurts to do business with someone local. Low prices every day. Mattress Depot USA. Come shop the largest selection of RVs in the Tri-Cities at Appleway RV. See big on Class A's, Class C's, travel trailers, toy haulers, and fifth wheels. Shop America's top brands, Rockwood, Tiffin, Newmar, Dynamax, and more with a huge selection of pre-owned RVs. Plus, get maximum value for your trade, all with no payments for 90 days. Come shop the clearance event at Appleway RV Pasco. 
Welcome back. A resident at a Bend, Oregon museum may attract some attention. We're talking about a bobcat kitten that now calls the High Desert Museum in Bend home. The eight-month-old bobcat turned up in a Portland suburb. Fish and Wildlife officials attempted to reunite the kitten with its mother. He turned up alone again in the same area, so that is when they took him to the museum in Bend. They're an interesting animal because they're pretty cryptic. People don't see them that often when you're out hiking. It's pretty special to see a wild bobcat. So it's nice to have one in the exhibit that people can come and learn about. And he's got a huge personality. He's very active, very rambunctious, very confident. Um, yeah, and he has a great time playing in this enclosure and the other enclosures where he gets time to um, hang out. Now the bobcat arrived weighing just three pounds, but as you can see, he now tips the scales at five times that. He's weighing in at 15 pounds. The Bobcat still doesn't have a name, but the museum is planning to hold a fundraiser coming up in August. They will sell the rights to name the Bobcat, so start saving up now. Now coming up next, the latest in the case of four University of Idaho students found murdered last November. Learn what a judge ruled as several organizations have asked him to lift a gag order. Plus, alarming findings from a survey about the one thing that can take a serious toll at work. The news at 630 starts right now. Now, Cap KVU local news at 630. President Biden has announced plans to run for re-election in 2024. That despite the results of a recent poll showing that voters may be thinking twice about a second term. ABC's M. Wynn is at the White House to explain. President Joe Biden officially launching his 2024 re-election campaign, receiving a warm welcome at an event today in Washington, touting his economic plan for rebuilding the middle class. Our economic plan is working. We now have to finish the job, but there's more to do. Personal the president releasing a video this morning that opens with images of Trump supporters the engaged in the deadly January 6 attack on the Capitol. Finish. Mr. Biden stating the fight for democracy is not over. Freedom. Biden drawing a stark contrast between himself and those he called MAGA extremists who he says are lining up to take away bedrock freedoms. Dictating what health care decisions women can make, banning books and telling people who they can love. At 80 years old, President Biden is already the oldest president in U.S. history. A new NBC News survey found 70% of Americans, including 51% of Democrats, believe the president should not seek a second term. Half the voters who don't want Biden to run again say his age is a major factor. But while the president has acknowledged his age is a concern for others, in an interview with ABC's David Muir, he brushed it off as a non-issue for his performance in office. And the only thing I can say is watch me. This announcement setting up a potential rematch between Biden and former President Donald Trump, who is now 76 years old and has even less support than Biden in the poll. Trump releasing his own video after Biden's. It is almost inconceivable that Biden would even think of running for re-election. Not a lot of people are clamoring for a rematch, but I'll tell you, Democrats remember how the first one turned out and are pretty happy about the result. M1, ABC News, the White House. Well, we are still a long way from November of 2024. Right now, we are talking about springtime weather and an endless supply of sunshine here in the Tri-Cities. Check out this video that Cap KB's Riley Fitzgerald shot this morning at Howard Amon Park in Richland. Temperatures have warmed up quick and they're getting warmer. Jason Valentine has a look ahead with your first alert forecast. Good Tuesday evening everyone. Hope you've had a wonderful day today and well, what a wonderful day it has been. We have more mostly clear skies on the way overnight. We'll see a little bit more cloud coverage in your morning and into our afternoon tomorrow, but we're starting to warm up. Highs are going to be in the mid to upper 70s and folks we have a very warm or we could say hot weekend on the way. Definitely the hottest temperatures of 2023 so far are on their way and just beautiful conditions are on the way as well. So we've been waiting. We've been seeing those cool temperatures for really since the latter part of March, but we're finally seeing in the latter part of April some nice conditions on the way. So coming up in my full forecast, we have a beautiful day today and we have more on the way. Hot temperatures very soon. We're slowly going to start tomorrow. We were at around average today, but a dry, nice week is ahead. Folks, I can't wait to tell you about how hot it is going to get for your Saturday. So looking forward to that. That's coming up. But for right now, I'm going to send it back to you.
Thanks, Jason. Well, I'm certainly enjoying the warmer weather, but that does cause a problem when it, temperatures rise this quickly. We start to see snow melting really quickly as well. That can overwhelm rivers. And it's not just us. We're seeing rising sandbag walls across several Midwestern states as the Mississippi River swells over its banks again because of that melting snow. We're also seeing concerns for potential flooding as forecasters say the record winter snowfall means a runoff not seen by many people for 20 years. Laura Aguirre shows us how residents in the Midwest are coming together to protect their towns. People need help, so we're, we're glad, to, glad to get down here and lend a hand. In states like Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Iowa, people are pitching in to keep the mighty Mississippi River at bay. In Fountain City, Wisconsin, the coming hours will test their efforts. The water is going to crest, we're predicting Tuesday night, so we have more water on the way. Recent warm temperatures across the upper Midwest are melting snow and swelling the river. Some rural areas and waterfront parks are already underwater. The river is at 19 feet in Lake City, Minnesota, the highest point since 2001. Now the concern is getting up. When do you pull the trailers? Uh, does it happen, you know, at 19, 19 and a half, 20? Residents here are preparing to move their homes to higher ground, not knowing when they might be able to return. I'm concerned about my neighbors and my friends. The river is not expected to crest in parts of Wisconsin and Iowa until later this week or even into next, meaning many towns may see flooded areas and washed out roads for days. If there are roads that have been barricaded or blocked off to not drive around uh, those barricades and to never cross roads that are flooded. For now, filling sandbags and helping neighbors will continue. Seeing the way the community gets together and just finds out what they need to do and does it is really great to see. I'm Laura Aguirre for Cap KVU Local News. Now here in the Pacific Northwest, a suspect has been charged with the murder of a Seattle woman who went missing after a Mariners game. The suspect has pleaded not guilty. Leanne Wynn reports. Dressed in a red jumpsuit, Brett Gitchell appeared before a judge to face a slew of charges against him. The judge ordered us not to show Gitchell's face in court, as he's presumed innocent at this time. We ask that please and not guilty be entered to all charges. Liz Latham was in the courtroom, seeing the man accused of killing her friend for the first time. I was just kind of sickened, and um, I was disgusted to hear a plea of not guilty. Gitchell and Martinez Cosman snapped this photo while attending a Mariners game together on March 31st. Court documents say they were seen on surveillance leaving the ballpark around 1030 that night, headed for a parking garage. And that's the last time Martinez Cosman is seen alive. Police say Gitchell denied even being at the game until presented with this photo. During questioning, investigators noted injuries on Gitchell and detectives observed apparent blood on the inside of Brett's right shoe. Two days after the game, Gitchell is also accused of kidnapping and trying to strangle Martinez Cosman's special needs son, who was able to escape and call police. We were so fortunate to have the Seattle Police Department just get right on this and 24-7 be on this. That doesn't happen to everybody. Not everyone is, is that fortunate. Now, loved ones are hoping to put more attention on others who are missing in honor of Leticia. And I think this is what Leticia would have wanted. It's, you know, she's still, <laughs> still working through us. And we have an update tonight in the case of a man accused of murdering four University of Idaho students last fall. The Idaho Supreme Court says the gag order in this case will remain. The court denied a media petition Monday to remove the order. A group of news agencies, including our sister station in Spokane, challenged the gag order, saying it's overly broad and actually violates their First Amendment rights. But in its opinion, the Idaho Supreme Court ruled that the petitioners have standing, but they should have gone to the lower court first before taking this up to the Idaho Supreme Court. The ruling says the news outlets have forgotten that the Supreme Court is, quote, the last resort in Idaho not the court of first resort. The man charged in this case, Brian Koberger, will have a preliminary hearing on June 26th. And one of the two housemates who was unharmed the night of the killings has asked the judge to be excused from Koberger's June hearing. According to court documents, that roommate now lives in Nevada. 
The subpoena would require her to go to the hearing in Lytaw County and possibly appear in court during the entirety of a po potential trial against Koberger. Her lawyer says the subpoena was not filed correctly and there's no authority to summon a Nevada witness to Idaho for a preliminary hearing. Koberger's defense attorney says she should serve as a material witness in the case, claiming she heard or saw things that could exonerate Koberger. Well, still ahead tonight, we spend a good deal of our adult lives at work. But now a new CDC report says that's taking a toll on mental health. And our region continues to absorb that golden sunshine. Temperatures are climbing. Jason Valentine's first alert forecast is next on Cap KV Local News at 630. Portion of Cap KV sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. Let a Mattress Depot USA sleep specialist put you on the mattress that matches your sleeping habits. Stop by today. You'll sleep better tonight. Low prices every day. Mattress Depot USA. Shelter. Out here, it's the most important thing. But the good thing is, my Ford F-150 provides enough power to keep working. Get a great deal on an F-150 only at your local Ford dealer. You can prepare as much as possible, but whatever you imagine, something else will happen. Patty and I have been together since 1984. Patty got diagnosed with Parkinson's in 2012. Having a caregiver helps with still being in a relationship. There's all sorts of expenses. Renting the bed and the tilt and space wheelchair. The money's going to be there, just like health insurance, and hopefully you don't ever have to use it. Walk Cares will help you take care of yourself. Chevy Silverado and new Silverado HD. Choose your own path with the number one best-selling retail full-size pickup and see where it takes you. Find new roads. It's Chevy truck season. Get 0% financing plus make no monthly payments for 90 days on all 2023 Silverado 1500 pickups or get 2250 total cash allowance on a 2023 Silverado with a turbo high output engine. See your community Chevy dealers. Did you know the most common mosquito in our area can travel five to eight miles? Here at Benton County Mosquito Control, our objective is to provide effective mosquito control for your home, neighborhood, and community. Our friendly mosquito control technicians use mosquito population monitoring, educational programming, and a variety of field techniques to reduce mosquitoes in your area. Reduce areas of standing water around your home to help control mosquitoes. For more help, give us a call or visit us online at www.mosquitocontrol.org. Benton County Mosquito Control, where your comfort and health become a priority. Tomorrow on GMA, Abbott Elementary's Lisa Ann Walter live. Plus, the one and only Denzel Washington. An exclusive Celine Dion announcement. What will it be? And a don't miss deals and steals this week on GMA. This is a town called Basic. It's pretty hard to stand out around here. But if you pull up in a 2023 Nissan Rogue, you'll stand out before your feet even hit the pavement. Can you make mine look like that? Anything but basic. The 2023 Nissan Rogue. Get a low $3.99 per month lease on Rogue or get 0% financing for 36 months on select models. That sound? Wolves. Boy, they sound hungry. Load up, wolves! Good thing this Ford Explorer has Sync 3 technology. Keeps them entertained on the way to dinner. Get a great deal on an Explorer only at your local Ford dealer. At Mattress Depot USA, we realize your top priority is to get a quality mattress at a great price. And it never hurts to do business with someone local. Low prices every day. Mattress Depot USA. Well, he might be best known for the musical hit Deo, which is also known as the Banana Boat Song. Harry Belafonte died today of congestive heart failure. He had also appeared in films and the Broadway musical Carmen Jones. Belafonte was an activist in the civil rights movement and close friend of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Belafonte was 96 years old. We've seen all the headlines about Americans' mental health getting worse in pretty much every age group, plus the push to get better work-life balance overall. Tonight, the CDC is weighing in. Mike Valerio has a look at the details that you might want to keep in mind the next time you ask your boss for a break. Americans spend a lot of time on work. It just permeates our entire life. And that can take a toll, especially under tough conditions. Working conditions can have a tremendous impact on 
our mental health. A new report out Tuesday from the CDC reveals in 2021 about one in every 37 working adults aged 18 to 64 experienced serious psychological distress severe enough to require treatment. The rates significantly higher for those who reported they had to work when physically ill, as well as for those who did not have access to paid sick leave. Likewise, people with late night or rotating shifts, inflexible schedules, and inconsistent pay also reported poor mental health. People need to have a sense of agency in their lives. Dr. Dennis Stoley of the American Psychological Association says a key reason behind the distress is a need for both predictability and flexibility. Where people have the ability to both be able to count on fundamental things like that they're going to be able to pay their bills with their next paycheck. His advice for employers don't choose between economic productivity and caring for employees. The two go hand in hand. A sense of psychological safety in a workplace increases productivity, increases innovation, increases retention, and they have a positive impact on their economic bottom line. Now, Cap Cave You First Alert Weather with Jason Valentine. A uh -huh, good Tuesday evening, everyone. And again, folks, hope you had that wonderful day. And what a beautiful day it was. Ample sunshine, a little bit of haze here and there. But those dry conditions are going to be continuing. Hot temperatures very soon. And a dry and nice week is ahead. But, folks, we see these hot temperatures on the way. Then we're going to fall right back down to around our average, like we've seen since late March. But that's all right. We're seeing warm temperatures on the way as we head into our Wednesday and our Thursday. We have just a little bit of shower activity possible in the upper uh, north part of our areas as we get into Wednesday evening and a little bit of extra cloud coverage for our Thursday. But folks, we have beautiful conditions on the way. More sunshine than not. And folks, these temperatures are going to be very nice. Look at the ascension as we get into our weekend. I had to change the graph. We haven't been this warm uh, all of this year, so I had to move down our graph uh, to make room for 88. That's for the Tri-City. So for all of our areas, upper 70s, mid to uh, mid 80s for your Saturday. So warm conditions are on the way. Friday, Saturday, we start to slowly cool down into our Sunday and then back to our average. So we're kind of bookending between today and Monday, and we just have those warm temperatures on the way. So wind advisory, we uh, excuse me, wind outlook. We are looking very light as we head into our uh, weekend and then we'll see a little bit of a push on Sunday. But folks, light winds, plenty of sunshine and warm temperatures. This is setting up to be just perfect conditions. And again, like a little bit of that spring that we've all been looking forward to. So as we look at today, we are just a bit above our average for the Yakima region for the uh, overnight lows. We're finally above it. And just remember last week at this time we had a freeze warning in Yakima for the Tri-Cities area right at that average. Uh, again, we have been below average for much of the last month and overnight we're starting to get some momentum as well and that momentum will keep up in our overnight lows as well as we're going to start to see warm temperatures there. So as we head into our overnight period, mostly clear skies going to be in the mid to lower 40s. So starting to warm up overnight, just very, very nice and pretty calm conditions. Again, not too much wind in the morning, so a little brisk, but still very, very nice. As we head into our Wednesday midweek, everyone, we're going to see partly cloudy skies. Highs are going to be in the pretty much the mid to upper 70s, a little bit chillier uh, for Walla Walla and Pendleton, but still a mighty fine day. And again, these warm temperatures are going to continue as we head into Friday, uh, head into the rest of our work week, but especially Friday and for our Saturday. Speaking of which, look at Friday, 85 and ample sunshine, mostly sunny skies for your Saturday, and then we'll cool off. And like I said, in our next work week, we're going to be much much cooler, pretty much on par with what we're seeing today. Lower 70s overnight lows. We get to 60 in our overnight low on Saturday into Sunday. So those warm temperatures folks are very soon to be here. Upper 70s for Yakima. Yakima is almost on par with the Tri Cities in the temperature department, at least in our daytime highs, lagging a little behind our overnight lows. But folks, look at that weekend. Friday through Sunday, it is going to be warm. 87 for your Saturday. And again, folks, we're still a few days away. It could cool down a bit, but we're definitely going to be seeing 80s for your weekend, and it is going to be very nice. So folks, get ready for a beautiful Wednesday ahead as we warm up by about 10 degrees and those hot temperatures on par this week. 
Thanks, Jason. STCU and CAPKV Local News are looking for community volunteers in Benton and Franklin counties who go that extra step helping us all. If you know someone like this, you can nominate them by clicking on contest at yaktrynews.com. Every six weeks or so, we choose a volunteer to profile on CAPKV Local News and STCU awards his or her organization a $1,000 donation. We'll be right back. What is a leader? Someone who has backbone, resilience, determination to put a stake in the ground and get their hands a little dirty. Arrow Construction Supply has been the Northwest's leading provider of asphalt, concrete, and erosion control industries. From homeowner do-it-yourself to large commercial projects, we have everything for sale or rent to get the job done. Your locally owned and operated Arrow Construction Supply, leading the way and hitting our mark for 30 years. Spring Fever Fun has arrived at Wild Horse Resort and Casino. Sizzle your way to over seven grand in cash and free play with 30,000 Spring Fever hot seats every Friday and Saturday. Plus surprise gifts during spring cleaning, swipe and win. Win up to $2,000 cash with our quick cash giveaway and $10,000 bingo April 23rd. With so many ways to win, any day can be yours. Wild Horse Resort and Casino, Pendleton, Oregon. More winners, more often. Come shop the largest selection of RVs in the Tri-Cities at Appleway RV. See big on Class A's, Class C's, travel trailers, toy haulers, and fifth wheels. Shop America's top brands, Rockwood, Tiffin, Newmar, Dynamax, and more with a huge selection of pre-owned RVs. Plus, get maximum value for your trade, all with no payments for 90 days. Come shop the clearance event at Appleway RV Pasco. When you or your loved one has been seriously injured, you want the best law firm on your side. Abeta Nelson Injury Law is the most highly awarded and experienced personal injury firm in Central Washington. Our office has secured the most million dollar car crash recoveries in Central Washington. You can trust us to have your back. The time for bringing your claim is limited, so don't wait. Call us today for a no obligation consultation. Abeta Nelson, we take your injury personally. Is your closet cramped and cluttered? Well, now there's Space Triangles, the clever new hanging device that fits over any hanger to save you closet space in seconds. And now may be your last chance to get them for a low price. Now you can vertically hang multiple items, guaranteeing that you'll have up to 70% more space in your closet. Your closet can go from messy to marvelous in no time with ease. The ingenious slipover design secures the hangers vertically. It snugly fits all types of hangers to save you space. Order now to get an 18-piece set of space triangles for just $9.99. But wait, due to rising costs and supply chain shortages, this may be your last chance to get space triangles at this low price. There is a strict limit of one closet pack per order while supplies last. Once they're gone, they're gone forever. Order now. Call 1-800-587-3514. Call or visit spacetriangles.com. So call 1-800-587-3514 now. Portion of Cap KV sponsored by Lord's Health and Trios Health, making communities healthier. Welcome back. Recent changes in the mortgage industry could mean higher costs for home buyers with a good credit score and lower costs for those with a lower credit score. It's all because of a new federal rule. ABC's Andrew Dimbert explains. It's a change many homeowners will find surprising. Beginning next month, some people with good credit scores may actually end up paying higher mortgage fees, while those with lower credit scores will pay less. Because of these changes, the advantage of having a higher credit score or making a larger down payment is not as big as it used to be. It's a new federal rule going into effect May 1st. The change uh, that the administration made is meant to make it easier for borrowers who have a lower credit score. The goal is to boost affordable housing and provide more equitable access to home ownership. The administration's stated purpose behind making these changes is to help make it easier for borrowers who have historically been disadvantaged and have had a hard time accessing credit. First time home buyers with credit scores ranging from 720 and 760, for example, could pay more under the new rule. They could see an extra $2,600 on a mortgage of $350,000. It is real money, but not enough to break the bank. Critics say the rule subsidizes homeowners who shouldn't be getting a mortgage in the first place. It's another subsidy. Experts say the biggest increases could be felt by those who put 15 to 20 percent down on a home. You might choose to put down a somewhat smaller down payment 
Hmm. say 5% instead of 7%. And that might make a difference for you. Andrew Dimbert, ABC News, New York. And just a warning, this new rule will also make it more expensive for borrowers to refinance. You're watching CapKV Local News, and we're back with the final check of your forecast next. Rubble. 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 These are our best burgers ever. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Okay, I think we're all aware that most cell companies only give you the lowest price when you sign up for multiple lines. What? Multiple lines? Hello? Yeah, uh-huh, one sec. But U.S. Cellular gives you just one line for $29.99 with unlimited data. Just one line with unlimited data. So you don't have to get more lines than you no, need. No, you hang up. Are you even listening, guy who never looks up from his phone? Oh, not for me, I just say. Okay, so no, no, you're not listening. Get one line for $29.99, plus every plan is price protected. U.S. Cellular, built for us. At Mattress Depot USA, we believe everyone is entitled to a good night's sleep, regardless of their credit situation. That's why we're approving everyone for up to $1,200 towards the purchase of a new mattress with no credit needed. You spend a third of your life in bed and a comfortable mattress is essential for providing quality of life. $3,000 credit, 100 days same as cash with no credit needed. Only at Mattress Depot USA. Low prices every day. Mattress Depot USA. We're seeing customers come in every single day. Pros are using battery equipment. Making the switch to battery was one of the best decisions that we made as a company. We made the switch to battery-powered equipment to be ahead of the industry. It's made in America, and I wanted something that was built here. This is where the world is headed. It's better to be ahead of it now than get on it later. Built for you. Built for work. Real Steel. Find yours. It's our 25th anniversary in May, but we just couldn't wait. So let the $225,000 Silver Jubilee celebration begin now at Legends Casino Hotel. Use your Legends Rewards Players Club card to earn entries for cash drawings on Thursdays and a chance at a new Mercedes C300 on April 27th. Use your card when playing your favorite slot machine for a chance to win a coveted silver ticket and a spot at the Jubilee Game Board on May 31st, where we'll give away over $200,000. Only at Legends Casino Hotel, within winning distance. You love a cold, refreshing soft drink from McDonald's. So we got even colder ones. From frozen faves to our new lemonade. Get any small for $1.89. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Live with Kelly and Mark, weekday mornings at 9 on Cap KVU. All right, folks, let's get you ready for your Wednesday midweek already. Plenty of sunshine, a little bit of cloud coverage, but still should be more sun than not. Going to see about 10 or so degrees warmer temperatures than we saw today. 76 for Yakima. And Yakima is starting to uh, be equal to the Tri-Cities in our highs, at least for the week ahead. So they've been lagging behind for really the last month. Walla Walla, more sunshine, highs in the mid-70s. And a little cooler, but still nice in Ellensburg. Cooler than our other areas, but still warmer for them at 75. So folks, a beautiful Wednesday is on the way. More sunshine and warmer temperatures are on the way this weekend. Thanks, Jason. Thank you so much for watching. We're back tonight at 11.